find a way out of this city, we're all gonna die.
got to get back to the others. You okay, Nick? Hi, Annie. Thought you guys were goners. You find anything? Maybe some food or a gun? Found this out there. It might be useful. I gotta get out of here, man. You got a family to get back to? Parents? Don't have any. Me neither. Yeah, sometimes you're better off that way. Is that your last dose? We're almost out of everything. Ha! You know, if your kind had just got Zombrex chipped like responsible citizens, we might not be in this mess. Those people are tracked by GPS. They're prisoners. They're following the law. Those GPS chips have Zombrex in them. They keep infected people from turning zombie. Oh, really? Must not have worked too well. Look outside. Ugh, you illegals are nothing but trouble. Uh, will you bitches shut up? They're gonna hear us. You know, why don't you call them the hell down, asshole? As long as they're outside, we got nothing to worry about. God, no! I don't want to die! No, 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 Mother, Mother, it'll be all right, okay? Okay, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Oh, Peter, I'm so scared. Oh, my God. Look at that one. It's like it knows something about when it was alive. We are all going to die! No! No, Mother, no, don't go out there! No! no. something together. Country. Where are the police? Where is the army? Should be safe in here for a while. You better look around, make sure none of them are in here, okay? No more. Hey, wait a minute, this guy, he's got one of those GPS Zombrex chips right there. Hey! Those are supposed to dose infected people with Zombrex, keep them from turning. And if they do turn, it's supposed to track them. I mean, isn't that the whole point? All clear. God, 
This wasn't supposed to happen. And none of this was supposed to happen. We need some news. We need to find out what's going on out there and when help is coming. on the fritz again. I'm gonna have to mess with those wires. Probably gonna take me a couple hours, Nick. You might want to see if you can find anything out there. But be careful. to a press conference that is happening right now with Secretary of Defense, former General John Hemlock, which is already in progress. Please stay with us. We've not yet confirmed the cause of the ongoing outbreak, but it was almost certainly initiated by the turning of an illegally infected, unchipped person. Let this tragedy be a reminder to all Americans. Zombrex chipping is the law. Los Perdidos has been quarantined for the safety of those both within and without until the president is located. The threat of contamination remains high. Therefore, in six days, once we are certain all survivors have been rescued, we will have no choice but to deploy a large incendiary bomb Destroying all organic life within the city limits. What the hell? I am freaking organic life right here! All civilians are urged to report to a military quarantine station for chipping and evacuation. A list of stations will follow shortly, I am told. Holy shit. Quarantine station to production bridge? Jesus. I mean, how the hell are we gonna get there? We can't walk and drive, it's not so safe either. We could fix up one of those. Or both? Reinforce one with the other? Combine them to make something stronger? Yeah, yeah, that's the same idea I had. Just, just run with it. See what you can do, kiddo. Out on the road now that you know what you're doing. Let's get. 
it to that quarantine station. Calm down, man.
my god, you saved us! <sighs> hey, what's wrong, sugar? He's never killed anyone before. You know, I, I've killed zombies, but they're already dead, right? I never killed a human being. Maybe there was something else I could have done. You had to do it. He would have killed us, or worse. Nick, listen to me. We gotta get out of the city. It's escape or die. We gotta do what we gotta do. Right. Escape or die. Let's go. found you. I heard some shouting, so I came this way. I've been looking for the lady's chop shop you told me about. Nick, man, things are really bad, man. We are so screwed. Where's the rest of your unit? My unit got owned by the zombies. We were over at that new museum, you know, big deal exhibit. Freaking president was there. We let her down. All of a sudden, there were zombies everywhere. I just, I just freaking ran, man. Now I'm like, you all listen. Shit. Anybody out? We're quarantined. That's why I wanted to find you, man. You can fix things, right? You can fix the plane, right? W what is this about a plane? This collector guy donated an old military plane to the museum. My unit was supposed to get it ready. I think it can fly. It just needs some repairs and some gas or something. I got the key. Right here. Right away, or you're gonna turn in the next few hours. I'll go with your friend to this plane. Look, it's the shipping warehouse right by the docks, man. You can't miss it. Zombrex, where am I gonna find that? Ingleton is your best bet. There's a crematorium there. Morgs keep emergency backup of Zombrex. They locked all the gates off because of the dead people inside. You're gonna have to go through the sewers. Find it. Get to that crematorium. Zombrex. That buddy, I thought you were one of those zombies. You got kind of a shambling thing going on. You may want to perk it up a bit. Do you need zombrex too? I need it real bad. I Me, mean, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm just here doing a job. I'm Gary. Who the hell are you? Nick Ramos. Hey, do you work in there? Can you help me? In there? No, no, not that kind of job. No, my boss is kind of a big shot around here. He helps people who are uh, desperate. So he's a crook. Hey, don't be rude. I like to say kingpin. I think it sounds a little classier. Anyways, I gotta get in there and I gotta get a body for my boss. Uh, tell you what, why don't, why don't you climb up there, let yourself into the roof, then let me in. I know where the Zombrex is in there. You help me, I help you. 
I want you climb up there. All right. You don't want the Zombrex. That's not my problem. I'll catch you later, kid, maybe. No, wait. You got a deal. All right. Here, let me do you a favor, Nick. Let me show you a little trick that'll come in handy sometime. Show you a little goodwill. All right, keep an eye on those zombies there. All right? Watch them. This is the best part. <laughs> now, get your ass up there and let me in. Oh, goes off all the time, right when I'm in the middle of the... Yes, boss. Yeah. Uh, no, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm climbing up there right now. I'm on it. I'm all over it. Yeah, I got to cover Took you long enough, Nick, or whatever your name is. Let's get down to that meat box. Yeah, come right in. Better fix the wiring in here. All right, we gotta find this girl. I want you to look at the names on the drawers. The name we're looking for is Nicole White. That's her alias, we think. What about my Zombrex? I could die, man. First things first. It'll look okay to me. Turn. It's okay. I gotta go. Huh, look, this guy's a something, something the third. Yeah, mom didn't get it right the first two times. Not this one. Huh, this girl don't want to come out, does she? Got him. Get there and get to the Zombrex already. Hey, this is Nicole White. But there's no body. Not there? Don't panic. Don't panic. Hey, must be in that back. Oh, 
this broad? No. Nah, no, I was wrong. It just looks like a girl I know. Right, well, here, come on. Help, help me, help me move her. Ugh. Wait a minute. Ugh. I helped you in this place. Now it's your turn to help me. Well, I don't know, pal. It looks like they're all out as ombrics. I guess I'm just gonna wait for the inevitable. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Really, I am. I'm sorry. Hey, do you want me to off you? So you don't gotta suffer. Just hurry. All right, okay, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Coming right up. Oh my god. I think the safety's on. Can I, can I see the gun? Let me see the gun. Yeah. By the way, you're welcome. Will you just do it? Okay, I'll do it. I'm not the best shot. Give me a moment. Oh, shit. That was my last bullet. Wait a minute. Look at your wound. It's healing itself. I ain't never seen anything like that before. What kind of freak are you? I guess I don't know what kind of freak I am. I guess you don't need no Zombrex either. Huh. Well, it worked out okay, you know? I mean, I didn't really want to shoot you. You seem like an okay guy. Um, thanks. Okay, let's go. Yeah, don't help me, whatever. Do me a favor now that you're not dying or nothing. I need you to drive this stiff over to my boss's club. The Diamond Panty, it's right here in Angleton. I gotta get something very important. Wait, listen. I gotta get back to my friends. We might have a way out of here. We found an old plane. We just need to find a few things to get it fixed. My boss is very well connected. You understand what I'm saying? Very well connected. I'm sure he could get you fuel, whatever you need for the plane. Just leave her in the car. I'll meet you in the club, all right? Come on, I gotta go. Okay, I'll meet you there. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Yeah, boss. No, I'm driving her over right now, sir. Yeah, I'm on my way. Right. are successfully chipping and evacuating survivors of the zombie outbreak. What the hell? The Secretary of Defense, former General John Hemlock, said today that as a purely preventative measure, chipping is strongly encouraged for everyone in the population. Oh, boy, how am I supposed to know where the hell she is? Oh, oh. Well, the boss ain't too happy. Turns out that's the wrong girl. You gotta help me find the right one. Me? I already did what you asked. Yeah, and I taught you my trick with the beast, so I'd say we're even. Why does your boss want to find someone so bad that'll wait around when a bomb's gonna go off? Don't you want to get out of here, Gary? Whatever. Not like I got any reason to live anyway. 
<clears throat> Listen. You said you knew a girl who looked like that girl. Annie, you said her name was Annie. Now maybe that's the girl he's looking for, so why don't you go bring her back here, and we'll give you anything you want. We'll give you fuel for your plane, your friends, whatever. I don't know if I can do that to her. It's nothing personal, but... Uh, all right, well, don't let the big bomb hit you in the ass on your way out. I'll have to ask my boss if she knows where she went. She seems to know a lot about them and where they hang out. Okay. Okay. Don't leave me hanging here. We've had it ever since we can remember. It needs a little work. We might need some parts. I'll start looking her over. But where the hell are we gonna find the fuel? Well, actually... You got a lead? Maybe. Uh, I met this guy. He's looking for Annie, I think. He said he'd give me some fuel if I can lead her to him. Huh? What's not to love about that? It's a win-win. Besides, that little son so deserves what she's got coming. Yeah, but... Listen. I got a bunch of hangouts. All over town. There's a big one in Sunset Hills, I heard. Look for this graffiti. You'll know you're in their hood. It's a sign to each other that it's a safe zone. Just keep looking. That's how you're gonna find her. This seems kind of like a shitty thing to do. I know she's real cute and everything, but I think all of us making out alive trumps you getting laid. I'll go find her. alive. Hey, get me out of here. All in due time, my brother. Are you a friend or a foe? Hey, wait, wait, wait. I know that guy. Hi, Annie. What are you doing here, Nick? Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you'd like to go to Ingleton with me. There's something there I want oh. you to see. I get it. Came here to rat me out to that guy who's looking for me. Well, he won't get a chance to. See, around here, we exterminate rats. Wait, wait. He's okay. Yeah, I, I swear, I don't know what I was thinking. Now, how do we know we can trust this chump? We found an old plane. It needs work, though, and some fuel. Red, this could be our chance. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a chance to prove it to you. Nick, this is Red. He's been leading up the resistance for... I'm a realist, Nick. Speaking of which... You guys help me find what I need? You know, maybe we can work together to get out of here. Yeah, I know some people with some fuel. 
But look at this, Nick. The government is killing off the survivors that they find. They're not saving them. So if you can do some things for us, you know, go out, burn some equipment, short out some radios, mess with some cameras. You do that, then you got yourself a deal. You really think they go that far? Maybe it's time for you to become a realist, Nick. All right, you got a deal. Plus, you got no other options. Hello? Anybody in here? Lay right down and wait your turn. That's mine. You hear me? You took all this from these people. You don't get it, do you, kid? You have to seize the opportunity or you lose the profit. Simple. The free market at its finest. You... You're a murderer. I'm a businessman. got a distress signal from Angel. Well, you made it back. Don't sound so surprised. Red, what's happening? Angel said there's a computer recording of the attacks on the civilians over at the police station. It's from all the security cameras. We could bust them all with that when we get out of here. Mm-hmm, but first we gotta get to Angel. She thinks they found out her position. Well, I can go to the police station. I mean, if it's just getting that information off the computer. Think you can handle it, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right. Angel's on the second floor by the pool of a hotel in Central City. You go to the police station, handle that, and then you meet us there. You got that? You all right, Nick? You all right? Come on, Annie. We got to get to Angel. I'll keep you safe.
information from the cameras. You have it? All of it? Mm. Give it to me. I want to put it somewhere safe. <sighs> The last thing we need is evidence of our rescue. Please! Someone! Stop! Please help me, my, my wife. Is there anyone else with you? No, 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 she's, she's hurt. Oh. Lock this place down. Please. Observing one, isn't he? Oh, adorable. I do so love a hero wannabe. <sighs> Let's see if he stands up to the test. Or let us out at the end. <laughs> Get in here, boys! Move, move, Let's move! Make uh, this a gangbang! Uh, <laughs> Just me. She was dead when we got here. You still think the government came in here to save us, Nick? I've seen it with my own eyes. The woman from the TV, Hemlock's head of security, she's killing survivors. Why are they doing this? At least justice will be served when that gets out and people see what happened here. Justice? Justice isn't going to bring Angel back. It's not going to bring any of us back. Sometimes I don't even know why we bother fighting. That's why. Look at her, Red. She was one of the family. We don't stop fighting if it's for family. Hey, I'm sorry for the attitude earlier. It's just really hard to know who you can trust. I'm gonna go meet with my contacts. 
I'm gonna go get that fuel for you, but I need you to do me a favor. Meet me at the tower in a couple of hours, okay? And I'll hook you up with the fuel, and then we'll all get out of this hellhole together. All right? Come on. Catch you later, bro. Enter Grasshopper. Find sanctuary in peaceful garden. Holy shit. Did zombies get in? Are you okay? Sweet anger calls through us. Is how universe tell us who target should be. Look, you know, just because you're talking all funny like that, it doesn't mean it's making any sense. Spirit of universe has slaughtered my happiness. And so, I must slaughter too. All who disrupt my garden of peace shall die! Oh, God. You did this. These people were just looking for safety. You'd no right to kill them. You shall perish like the others. Here. Upon your face, what did I do? Why have you forsaken me? My wife lives for a guy who sells the refrigerators. My kids grow up to be disrespectful brats. Now this... A goddamn zombie outbreak? Seriously? Screw you! You piece of crap! It's not his fault. I figured you didn't have the balls to follow through, so I followed you. Now, you're the broad my boss is looking for. You're coming with me! Keep moving! Keep moving! Huh? Don't Don't get your get Ops raid. You any idea where they might be? They've been working on a makeshift prison camp for the past couple of days, man. Over in the old taxi dispatch yard in Ingleton. That must be where they are. Did you get the fuel? Family first, Nick. Dang. We gotta go. 
Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna go get back up. There's an old used car lot across the street from the prison camp. Meet me on the office rooftop. We'll devise a plan there. detention area over there behind that electrical fence. I had to cut the power to get on the inside of there, though. Power supply is probably in that main building over there. See ya, asshole! Mm. Look, Nick, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. You can fight your way straight through, right? Or you can go around the perimeter and find a way to climb on the inside. You are there! Or you found one of their uniforms, they look just stupid enough to let you walk right past. But it's up to you now, Nick. Okay. Wait, 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 where are you going? I'm going to go get an escape vehicle. You're going to go on the inside of that main building, which is probably HQ, and cut the power. And then get over to the detention area. I'll meet you on the inside, and we'll get our people out together. Inside? Okay. So wait, what's the pl plan? Cannot proceed with the destruction of the city while I'm still searching for him. I want my full six days, as you promised. That was never the primary purpose of this operation. As your commander in chief, I order you to release me. It's wonderful news that we found you, Madam President. Because you see. Really needed a body. Get her to eat someone low ranking, get it on film, and get it to the media right away. And then shoot her head right off. Mission accomplished. No. I want this Diego. He wasn't at the museum with the rest of his unit. We must find him. I've allowed you to pursue this fantasy because I enjoy indulging you, Marion. Deactivating the chips won't be so easy next time. Something about the radiation we've used to turn the chips off. It's changing them. This could be a blessing in disguise. I told my men to bring some of the mutations back for study. The substance they use, this royal jelly or whatever it is, it could be the key to a new weapon. Imasu! Don't lose focus! Search the illegals in the quarantine tents, and if you cannot find this Diego, kill them like the infectious vermin they are. Your wish is my pleasure. Power supply must be in there. Hey! Oh shit! I can't do that, Annie. But don't worry. I won't let him take you. Hurry. You know, for a little prick, you hate so bad. Do not call me that again, Gary. Get back here! I'm not done with you! God! God! 
flash your lights out. I guess I owe you one. Back to work. My friend, they're looking for him. Oh, I don't think your friend's the only one that they're looking for. What the hell? Why? I don't know, man. You need to come clean with me. What's this all about? I swear, Red, I have no idea. Extremely dangerous, my ass. Should we meet at the plane? It's at the shipping warehouse down at the docks. I'm gonna go look for Annie and the others. Let's meet up at the karaoke bar at Sunset Hills later, okay? Where's the fuel? It's at Central Storage down on the freeway, under the bridge. Park just inside. You can't miss it. If you were coming back. And now Diego's gone. What? I tried to stop him, honey. No, 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 no. He's got the key. Oh. I have been through some tough times, but this is... You know, it's got me to thinking about all the mistakes I've made in my life, and there's been plenty. Like my ex. I really messed that one up. I've seen some crazy shit out there, but I'm gonna find Diego and we're gonna get this plane fixed. We're gonna get out. You and me. Remember, we are survivors. No. Escape or die. I'm gonna save your substantial ass. That's what he said. Shh. Listen. Yes, we are receiving reports that General Hemlock has announced he will stick to the original six-day timeline before commencing the destruction of the city of Los Perdidos. This follows quickly on initial reports that President Paddock was found zombified. More on this later. It's bullshit! Listen, honey, we got the fuel, but this plane is not getting off the ground without a few parts. We need a rudder arm, a flywheel, and an altimeter. Where the hell are we gonna find those? I've been looking through some files for a supply house or something in town. In the meantime, you need to go find that friend of yours. I think he went back to that stupid-ass museum. Something about trying to be a hero or something like that. I gotta find him. The authorities are after him. Hemlock, I think. Man, they must be hard up. I think the government's doing something real bad to people out there. The president's death wasn't an accident. She was killed by Hemlock. <laughs> what on earth for? You're starting to sound like that little illegal paranoid friend of yours. Hey, did you turn her into that man to get the fuel? Let's just say I came up with a different plan. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Nick. I'm gonna find Diego. Hey, be careful out there. I worry about you. And don't let him hurt you. He looked about to claw his own skin off. Diego! You need to 
stop this. Diego? Please, man. Diego! Listen, man, I'm begging you. We, we gotta get out of here. We, we do not have time for this. Get out of here. The bomb's gonna go off. Copy that. Life form shall be neutralized and any organic remnants brought back to the ship are further now. No. Diego! No! Questionable chemical composition. We're not in space, man! I'm so sorry I had to do that to you, please. Get up, bud. Uh, oh, jeez, Nick. Uh, what was that that you were saying, huh? About your mama? About your mama? My mother used to say that to me. About the only thing I can remember when I was a little kid. I feel like I've heard that before. Nick! I gotta show you something. Come here! Come on. I saw something in here that really scared me, man. Like, really scared the crap out of me. Come on. That guy looks familiar. Carlito Keys? Yeah. Well, he was the terrorist that he caused the outbreak in Willamette back in 2006. His sister Isabella helped him. And they brought the parasite from Central America. Whatever happened to him, huh? Huh? He died there, I guess. It, it says she disappeared right after that. Man, they were supposed to have this shit under control after Fortune City, man! Those Zombrix chips were supposed to keep everybody in line! Now look at this. Huh? You see this? This really scares the crap out of me, man. This zombie is reported to have begun the Smithville outbreak in 2007, the first outbreak to occur after Willamette. Now look at his neck. No, 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 holy crap, man! No, what does that mean, man? I don't know, right? What the hell? Oh, shit. Okay, look, we, we, we need to focus on the problems that we can solve first, okay? Let's get the hell out of town, and then we'll figure out what's going on. You still have that key, right? Oh, shit! Those gang dudes bugged me on the way here. I was so out of it. They took the plane key. Nick, we gotta get it back. What is it, bro? Nothing, man. Nothing. It's all good. Let's just go find those keys now. You two. You scared me, Nick. I'm nervous something bad's gonna get in here. Like something worse than that. Whoa. Yeah. Nice paint job. Thought he'd be dead by now, Nick. But are you sure he's stable? Yeah. Yeah, he's totally fine. I think. Sadly, we have received video confirmations of President Paddock's death. General Hemlock has announced that martial law will be extended to the entire eastern seaboard, as the threat of contagion is still too high. Hemlock himself will be touring the perimeter of Los Perdidos as the rescue operation continues. Lord, what is this world coming to? Honey, I gotta figure out where we can find the part she needs. Give me a few hours. What are you doing in here? 
You all right? Do you need some help? Oh, shit. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh. <laughs> Just walked in the door and already presenting. No reason to get too excited? Why don't you? Go over there and lick that lollipop for me. Hey, man, I I'm not licking anything here. Maybe a little pole dancing. Sorry, dude, really not in the mood. Oh, you will be. That door does not open again until you start being a little bit more obedient. If you don't listen to me, and I'm going to be one angry daddy! <sighs> Why don't you try taking some of my suggestions? Maybe you'll find me a little more cooperative. I think we should just calm down, man. <laughs> hate you. I hate you. Ugh. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. God, you are incredible, Jerry. Excuse me, Jerry? It's not safe here. Uh, hey, mister. What did you say? Uh, I am no sir. I am Jerry with two eyes. I'm about to take home my long-deserved Miss Gigantic California trophy. No one is nothing is getting in my way. Do you understand me? Hey, listen, it's 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 probably been canceled because there's there's a zombie outbreak out there. God, you're good looking. You know that? You winner, you. <sighs> you know, you, you really are indeed gigantic, sir. Ah, not a sir, man, man. No, you are not going to beat me. I am Miss Gigantic California. Is I found this letter from that richy rich collector in Sunset Hills, the one with the plane fetish. He's got the parts. He wants to donate him. I say, let's help a man out. Hey, don't worry. He's okay now. Diego, help me put the fuel in the plane while Nick's gone. Can't do it by myself.
Second, what's going on? We're finally gonna get out of here, like we said. Nick, this might be my only chance to make things right. I, I should have never left my ex like that. He was a good man, and I'd done him wrong. And if he's out there, I gotta find him. What are you gonna do? Go back to my garage for a bit. Figure out my next move. I wish I could change your mind. I'm gonna miss you, Rhonda. The closest thing to a family I ever had. Yeah. <sighs> Shit. Man, that chick is crazy. Come on. Let's get Annie and the others from the karaoke bar and let's get the hell out of here. You take this, bro. I don't really trust myself anymore, you know? She know that. What's going on? What are you doing? Hey, look out! Hey, punch him up! Punch him up! Activate the pathetic one first. Let's see if he's the right one or not. Activate! Activate what? Begin the test immediately. Hey, get away from him! Balakis. You. I've waited for you for so long. You started the outbreak of Will Ahmed. <laughs> you killed my friend Diego. I am no terrorist. The world has been lied to about me for so long. I will change that with you. 
What are you talking about? Uh, there's no time to explain. But you must know you will not meet the same fate as your friend. They will not leave inside of you. The worms, they cannot... What else do you know? You need to tell me... now. Come. I'll explain everything when we're safe. Please, trust me. Stop! Quickly! No! You're not going anywhere! I will leave you here, it's too important! Go! Go to the warehouse at the port! Be the plane, we're gonna get out! I will meet you there, and then I will tell you everything! If I can't have you alive, I'll settle for whatever I can scrape off the walls! Getting the hell out of this city. I'm taking my friends with me. Here's that damn karaoke bar. sound huh what's that sound it sounds like a little pipsqueak out there don't it you listen to me you're letting me in there oh now it sounds like you found some balls is that what happened gotta get her out of here gary they're gonna bomb the city people's lives are at stake people's lives are at stake how about my life is at stake how about you think about me for a change how about you give a shit about that the boss has been on my case all this time over this annie girl and bringing her back here well i finally got her in there hold up no thanks to you for all I know, he'll off me if she gets away again, and he's gonna be here soon. But I got anything to live for anyway. I'm all screwed up. What do I got, this crappy job? You hear me? It's a crappy job! Screw it. Screw it! Screw it! You hear me? I've been thinking about everything. Ever since this outbreak, I've been thinking about everything. I used to have it good. You know how good I had it? I was a wrestler! I made myself some big change. I had a beautiful wife, a big house. My wife, she was a... She was a great mechanic, too. I screwed it all up. I screwed it all up! Oh, God, I miss my Rhonda so much! 
You laugh at me. You laugh at me? I pour my heart out to you, and you laugh at me! Did you say you'd do anything to see your aunt again? Stand still! You can let me in there? Don't make me mad at you, little pipsqueak jerk-off. All right, that's it. Either you get past me, or you do me a huge favor. That's the only way you're getting in here. Go ahead. Huh? Give me a reason. dead soon if we don't stop the bleeding. We only have a few minutes. Uh, first aid kit. To stop the bleeding. Maybe at Roy's Mart. But they're still around here. Looking for you. I'll be right back, Rhonda. Hang in there. Uh -huh. I don't have much time, honey. I'm fading. Come on, Rhonda. Stick with me, please. Rhonda? Rhonda? You asshole! towards no freaking light just yet. Hell no! Okay, listen, Rhonda. We need to get out of here. You gotta come with me. I told you. I can't. I found Gary. Gary? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, how? Where? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, my beautiful boy. Let's go. No! I can't go looking like this. I think that's the least of our problems right now. Let me, let's help me up. Come on. Uh, we gotta go. First impressions are everything. I'm not going until I look presentable. Get some acetylene tanks, a soldering iron, and a hinge. We'll rig something up. Go! Okay. Screw himself. I'm not missing out on anything else. Let him do his own dirty work. I finally have a reason to live. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go make some noise. Uh, uh, <laughs> Gary? Oh, yeah. Forgot. Sorry. Uh, here. Um, I put her up high. I put a bunch of zombies around her. Just be careful in there. What? <laughs> Or something. I was just gonna say that. Um, 
Where's Red? He's supposed to meet me here, but he hasn't shown up. You think that loser outside chased them off? Well, I told him if there were any problems to meet us at the plane, so maybe he's there. Let's go. And Nick. Annie? Uh, Red and I, we used to be together a long time ago. We're not now. He's still weird about it sometimes. It just seemed like you wanted to know. It seemed like I wanted to tell you that. I'm just really happy you keep showing up. Let's get to that point. Are you okay? Yeah, it just uh, brings back some bad memories. But where's everybody else? Uh, finally! You guys are okay? Where are the others? I don't know. I thought they were with you. No, Red, we can't leave them. Not after everything. Well, we can't. Okay. All right. I got one last location I can check, all right? Mm -hmm. Is the plane already fueled up? Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, now, we cannot sacrifice everyone else, okay? All right? So be ready when I get back. Nick, that's what they called you now? We must go. Wait, wait. You are Isabella Keys. I've heard rumors about no, you. No, you don't understand. What is it you have to tell me? No more hints, just out with it. Your government built a lab near my village. All to make fatter cattle for your fat country to eat. And with the lab came soldiers from the U.S. Army. They did what young men do. They spread their seed. And then when Dr. Barnaby discovered the bees, well... The zombies came. And your government killed most of the survivors so no one will tell the truth. Carlito thought it would be fitting that he should send the children back to the country which helped create them. Little time bombs like your friend Diego. But he did not want to create something unstoppable. So he made one of the orphans in Mion. Oh my god, Nick. This is you, Nick. You are the little life capsule Carlito planted. Me? You're what we've been waiting for. You can be cured. Dr. Malin wants the cure and she will do anything to get it. She's looking for you now. We must go. Well... I know it doesn't look like much, but... We must take our chances now. Nick! Annie! Come on out here! Okay, that's right. We need to get everyone. Nick, please! for red. You sure gave up on your family fast. Come on, Nick. I told you, I'm a realist. I'm tired of living like a pariah. And when I saw that flyer, I realized that was the closest to $5 million that I ever was gonna get. So guess what? I got your friends. You are my $5 million. So let's make an exchange. I'm gonna kill you with my bare fucking hands, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I like to see you.
Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, go find a way to get out of here. Go! You're coming with me. One of the family, huh? No. Family of one, Nick. Just like you. No. Nothing like me. Always knew you had an eye on my girl. You betrayed everyone, Red! Don't fight! <laughs> What happened to you, Red? Everybody got some shit. Everybody gets shit. I wanted it to be my time. We were right about one thing. What? It is your time. Nick! Annie! Are you okay? Yeah. Damn it, do you need backup? That's Hemlock's voice. Speak up, man. I can barely understand you. Have you recovered the orphan? Uh, negative, sir. We have him cornered. Uh, requesting additional time to mop things up. Very well. I'll grant another day. Malin will be happy to have more time. Our work here is not yet complete, regardless. Mine is neither. Katie! Katie! Oh my god. Dad? Honey, please. I I'm sorry. Dad, I'm sorry. Katie Ann Green, where have you been? I lost my mind when you ran away. Shit, that's real cute, ain't it? Ooh, I love a happy ending. Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I saw what it was doing to you, the pressure to, to keep me unregistered and to find Zombrex all the time. It, it wrecks people, that drug. I didn't want to burden you anymore. You've never been a burden to me, honey. It's not your fault what happened to me. I'm the one who's the burden. I, I'm not proud of what I've done. God, I've been looking for you for so long. You're the man Gary works for. I'm not letting Annie go with some thug. I don't give a shit if she is your daughter. She's not your property. I've been looking for my daughter for two years. And now there's a zombie outbreak like the one that killed her mother. You don't know what that's like. Who the hell is this? Nick Ramos. Who are you? Chuck Green. Okay, it's okay. Dad, I mean, how, did you, how did you find me? I found Gary. He overheard where you were going. I wanted to kill him for letting you go. I never seen the fat bastard so happy. It's been a long time, Chuck Green. Isabella Keys. What the hell are you doing here? Your face. Dr. Malin was always envious of me. At least I can still walk. It is imperative that we get this man to a safe place immediately. What, that little pipsqueak? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? He contains within him, within his body, the cure, the antidote to the parasite. Come, we must get to this plane. We don't have much time. Let's do this. that we'll round up anybody who's still alive and we'll truck them out of here. We'll, we'll find the way. I can't leave you guys. You're the important one, Nick. <sighs> Don't ever forget you got a family right here. 
okay? All right, come on, get out of here. Get out of here! Do either of you even know how to fly a plane? Guess we'll just have to make do with what we got. Luck. Buckle up, everybody. Getting out of here. Time to get cold feet, buddy. Hemlock's doing something here in town, collecting something. What the hell's that guy looking for? The substance the King Zombies give off will be very powerful if collected or synthesized. We must go. But we can't just let him do it. We're so close to a cure, a cure to your own disease. Don't you want that? But don't you get it? It might not even matter if we have a cure if he has something like that. Whatever it is, it's starting now. And he's right. Cure won't mean a thing if we don't stop this. Nick, please! Your dad, what are you doing? Katie, I used to be the guy who solved problems, not caused them. We are gonna get that son of a bitch. Uh, Nick! Dad, give me that! Come on, I will get up on the crane. I'll tell you where he's going. Not quite sure what my daughter sees in you. You want to impress me? Here's your chance. anywhere we want to. We can control where it goes. And when we're done, we'll kill the kings. It'll wipe out the population, but leave all the infrastructure. It'll be like the neutron bomb I always dreamed of. It is nothing without the cure. All this cure thing is bullshit. It's a goddamn myth, Marion. That bitch and her brother made it all up to taunt you. Don't throw our lives away on this. Oh, don't be so pathetic. You're so weak. You, you make me sick. I would have been good to you, Marion. Uh, uh, it's not like any other man would have you. Uh, you got a job to do, man. Now let's do it. Get up there! <laughs> 
getting on my nerves! Bring it, old man! You're getting on my I'm gonna finish what that crazy good started. Give him shit! Fine, Annie. We're on our way, okay? Me and Dad. Then we have to pick up Isabella. She she went back to the lab to find something. I was worried, Nick. I I can't lose you now. Don't worry. You won't. Starting an outbreak to find the immune one? It makes no sense. It will kill thousands, including the orphan. No, no. It's the only way, Marian. I know he's out there somewhere. Those lives are inconsequential compared to the cure. That's why I've continued to work with you. That's why I've stayed here voluntarily to find a cure. In an outbreak, the orphan will realize his immunity and come forward, and your friend Hemlock might find that convenient as well. Oh, you're jealous of my work. You always have been. You're so desperate to find your mark. You think you walk again? You think you'll be cured? Shut up! You're lucky I didn't take your legs as well. If they hadn't stopped me... I will be the one who goes down in history as the creator of the cure. Me and me alone, not you. I don't care what I have to do to find it. Why are you doing this? Is it for the money? I don't give a shit about the money. I'm going to make up for what my brother did and restore the good name of our family. Be a hero for once and for all time. Not that Frank West, not this Chuck Green. He left me to die once. They will all pale in my shadow. And I will find the cure. And no one will know you're a mass murderer. Interesting. <laughs> I think I might finally be starting to like you. After all. <laughs> <laughs> 